구독과 좋아요 유명한 공포소설 출판사를 운영하는 데이비드 막대한 부를 쌓은 그는 고층 펜트하우스로 이사를 가는데요 You've got the 16th, 17th, and four bedrooms, five baths. The private elevator handles all three floors as well as the rest of the building. What do I have to do to get this place and still make my one o'clock? Jesus Christ, you're pitching me a story about a haunted house without doing the work. Create a backstory, develop a mythology, write a story about you writing a story. That's scary. Now, why on earth would you put me on the phone with him? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Garrett called again? Leave a message with his assistant. Tell him I was busy. Hey, David. David, um, you didn't, you know, maybe possibly have a chance to look over the story I gave you, did you? Shit. No. But I'm gonna blow through a stack of reading as soon as I get home. I'll see ya. 까칠한 성격이었던 그는 친구 게러에게도 막말을 퍼붓고 작가 지망생이었던 비서 레베카의 소설도 가볍게 무시합니다. So I owe you a cafe mocha. With soy. And a towel. I live in this building here. I just moved in. I uh, represent writers, books. What kind of books? Horror, mostly. Having a party tonight. You want to come? Audrey Levine, third floor. Thanks for the drink. See you tonight. Great. 우연히 3층에 사는 오드리에게 한눈에 반한 데이비드는 그녀를 초대하는데 Hi. Uh, it's for you. Happy housewarming. House? It just rolls off the tongue like this one. <laughs> Joe Grimple, Kathy Mahoney. This is my sister. Excuse me. I, I hope I wasn't, I wasn't interrupting you. You're kidding me. You fucking saved me. That's Kathy. You know, the party has just turned out to, to really be something else. And the food is just... Beautiful night. You know, if you want to be mad at me, Garrett, that's fine. And when you lose your job, that's pal steals your clients oh. and then makes a dash for another agency. That's shit. That's not what happened. Okay. It should be my life, my party, my place. 오드리에게 점수 좀 따려 했는데 게럿 때문에 망쳐버린 파티. 그날 밤 경찰이 찾아오는데요. My name is Martin Soul, detective. NYPD. There's a guy downstairs who claims that you're squatting in his residence. Do you have the deed to this place? My lawyer does. Who is he? Uh, Jared Thurber. Uh, his father was the previous owner. In case anything comes up. Like what? Hey, it's New York. 이사 오자마자 생기는 이상한 일들. 다음 날엔 의문의 카드를 받게 됩니다. Um, this came for you today. A thank you note from Andrew Dunlap. Never heard of him. I just thought you should see it since he wasn't invited. He's a writer. He's he's the one that you told to write a story about himself writing a story. <laughs> you see it? 파티에 초대한 적 없는 앤드루 덤랩에게 온 감사 카드. 불안해진 데이비드는 오드리를 찾아가죠. I came up here to ask you a favor. I had this terrible habit of misplacing things, and my assistant lives on the other side of town. You don't strike me as someone who misplaces things. Well. I it always comes as a shock to me, too. 집 여분 열쇠를 오드리에게 맡기고 올라온 데이비드 수상한 서류 봉투를 발견합니다. <목소리> 범죄 현장을 찍은 듯한 사진 뭉치를 보고 화장실 타일을 비교해 보지만 이 집에서 일어난 사건 같진 않았죠. Detective Saul, please. First, you don't know who sent what. I checked the records back and forth. Nothing ever happened at your place. You don't really even know what's in these pictures. I'm not just gonna sit here on my hands. 그날 저녁 우연히 양치를 하다가 타일 시공 흔적을 발견하는데. Saul, it's Lamont. I found the tiles. The same tiles that were in the pictures. Something bad happened there. Call me. 일을 마치고 집에 간 데이비드에겐 새로운 서류 봉투가 기다리고 있었죠. What the 
hell's going on here, huh? Wow. How the fuck you get in here? You left these in the elevator. So? It looks authentic. Yeah, no shit, it's authentic. What's going on, Saul? Oh, I thought this was your business, scaring the shit out of people. Looks like somebody's doing a pretty good job on you. Speaking of which, yours is up. 비디오 테이프와 함께 들어있던 칼을 가져가는 경찰. 평소 모두에게 거칠게 대했던 데이비드는 누구의 짓인지도 가늠이 되지 않습니다. Who is this? Watch your step. 자기를 지켜보는 듯한 범인의 전화에 집에 모든 걸 걸어 잠그고 오드리를 찾아갑니다. Audrey! Audrey! No, no, keep down. Keep down. It's a great place, but maybe you should think of moving. No. I'm not gonna let someone just scare me out of my home. 결국 오드리의 집에서 하룻밤을 보낸 데이비드. 상황은 더 미궁 속으로 빠져 들어갑니다. <목소리> 범인은 데이비드의 방까지 실시간으로 보고 있었죠. 영상을 살펴보다가 범인의 흔적을 찾고 건너편 건물로 가보는데 Hey! Rebecca? What is this? Why? Oh, I don't want you. What? I do. No, 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 yes. no, you don't! Yes, I do, I'm sorry, and I just I didn't know how to make you it can't. go away. You can't, no... You tried to ruin my no, life! David, please don't say that, please! No, I've only, I've only wanted what's best for you, David. What's best for me? Stalking me? Taking fucking no, pictures? David, please listen, I know that I'm... I know what I did was wrong. I know I did what I did was wrong. It's just... I just wanted to be close to you. <웃음> 집을 훔쳐보던 건 다름 아닌 비서 레베카. 하지만 진짜 범인은 따로 있을 거라고 생각하는데요. You've been watching the place. Who have you seen? A messenger. A messenger? You saw a messenger? Was it a man? What did he look like? I don't know, David. It was, it was late at night. It was dark. I call Saul. I talked to the police. I just saw him leave Audrey's apartment. Who, Saul? Audrey! Rebecca's words are heard to Audrey's house. Where have you been? <laughs> Where's Audrey? Who's Audrey? Don't fucking bullshit me! I don't know what you're talking about, Lamont. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Relax. Now he's coming for you. You better lock up. Take the second floor. 경찰은 진범이 곧올것 같으니 문을 전부 잠그자는 제안을 하죠. Not now, Rebecca. I'm with Detective Saul. That's what I'm calling about. He's not who you think he is. What are you talking about? When you said his name, I knew I heard it before. For what? Andrew Dunlop's novel, the one you rejected. The killer's name in it is Saul. Detective Saul. Downstairs is secure. I checked with the police department. There is no Detective Saul. Get out of there, David! Um, okay, Beck, yeah. We'll just go over that in the morning. Is everything cool up here? I think you know from Andrew Dunlap. Never heard of him. I just thought you should see it since he wasn't invited. 경찰이 던랩이라고 확신하는 데이비드. Good. Done David! No, it was all 
밖의 옥상에는 오들이 거실에는 덧레베 시신이 있는 상황. There are two dead bodies in my house, Rebecca. I'm fucked. But my parents have a farm two hours upstate, and they're out of town. There are ways to get rid of this, David. Pigs are omnivores. Excuse me. 레베카의 말을 듣고 농장에서 돌이킬 수 없는 일을 저지릅니다. We just go in tomorrow like nothing happened. Everything will be fine. 집에 온 데이비드는 책상 위 서류 봉투를 열게 되는데 David, you didn't maybe you possibly have a chance to look over the story I gave you, did you? Ah, oh, shit. David, I have Andrew Dunlap for you. She chose a name at random and stamped it at the bottom of a title page. Why on earth would you put me on the phone with him? The advice she'd hear him scream countless times. Make me make me care. Care. Renting a place across the street made it easy. She knew there would be victims. Victims he could have easily saved. And then, with a stranger's hand, she pushed him right onto the killing floor. 처음부터 앞으로 벌어질 일을 알려준 레베카였지만 데이비드는 원고를 보지 않았고 결국 그녀의 계획대로 일은 끝났죠. She would become his number one client. What happened next was his choice. But live or die, they'd go together. 2007년에 제작된 영화 킬링 플로어는 우리나라에선 개봉하지 않았지만 재밌는 스토리로 아는 사람들만 아는 반전 스릴러 영화입니다. 1시간 30분 정도의 길지 않은 러닝타임이지만 긴박하게 흘러가며 데이비드 주변에서 벌어지는 의문스러운 일들을 잘 담아냈습니다. 마지막 반전에 이르기까지 한순간도 지루할 틈이 없는 영화인데요. 비플릭스에서 현재 무료로 감상하실 수 있으니 직접 시청해보시는 건 어떠신가요? 다른 재밌는 영화들도 많으니 방문해보시는 걸 추천드립니다. 이번 영상도 시청해주셔서 감사합니다. 구독과 좋아요, 알림 설정까지 해주실 거죠? 지금까지 영화 킬링플로어였습니다.